Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and right now I really don't know where to start because I know it's been a little hectic on my Instagram and YouTube so I know you guys are probably expecting me to address the situation. Um, if you don't know the situation, honestly, I don't want to get into it too much because it's been settled between me and the person that it's between. It's just a really big misunderstanding. And yeah, like I said, I'm not going to explain the whole situation. I know a lot of girls are going to ask, you know, what happened, what situation. If you don't know about it, it's okay, forget about it. But if you do, just know that I'm really sorry, first of all, for the whole thing, the whole misunderstanding in itself. Honestly, I just unpacked today. So I've been back from LA for like two days and I'm just getting around to unpacking and I really wanted to just get this haul out. Like I said, I have addressed the situation, if you want to call it a situation, between the person. I did communicate with them. I had their number. We were texting. So yes, there's no need for drama. I want to keep this drama free. I don't want to, you know, talk too much about it because honestly, like, there's just no need. Um, negativity just brings more negativity. And like I said, it was a huge, huge misunderstanding, um, I think, on both of our parts. And I have already apologized to her. I apologize to her subbies, my subbies. I don't want you guys fighting. There's no need for it. Let's remember why we are here. And that's to see beauty stuff, beauty related things. And let's just not have this drama because I honestly. I just don't tolerate it like it's there's no need for it things got really out of hand there's been bashing there's been really like hateful nasty comments being said and there's no need for it so that's all I'm gonna say about it honestly you're not gonna get more out of that because uh, like I said there's no need so I'm back I'm so excited I am like happy to be back but I'm not because I loved LA like a lot of you guys were asking me how I liked LA I honestly fell in love like I need to be living in California it is just amazing everyone there was super super sweet the service was amazing the food was outstanding like even the fast food over there is just so much better than here in New York the weather was great um, I had a really great time honestly like I wish I stayed for a little longer but I'll be back don't worry I'll be back and IMATS was fantastic. I am going to show you guys what I got at IMATS and also a couple of things that were sent to me from um, companies. Because when I got back, there was like so many packages at my house. So uh, I'm really, really exhausted. The jet lag definitely got to me. I thought that it wasn't, but it definitely did. I've been sleeping a lot and just kind of catching up on rest and just catching up with friends that I haven't seen for the past six days. So just wanted to clear that up. I love you guys so much. Like, honestly, without you guys, like, I don't know what I would do because you guys are my friends. Like, you don't understand when I read your comments, when I read your positive comments telling me that you've been there since day one, like, that's, that means a lot to me because, you know, like, even people in your own life, like, personal life, they're not even there for you sometimes. Like, you know how it, it feels amazing to have so much support. Like, it's just... I don't know. This was just like a minor hump, a minor setback, but like I said, it's been cleared up, so I just want to kind of get past it. So let's get started with the haul. Um, it's going to be a lot of products, and I'm warning you now to grab yourself an ice mocha latte. I had 150,000 subscribers when I was in California, and I literally started screaming. I was at a Mac Daddy event, and Angie was there with me, and I was just losing my mind. Like, I knew... Like, I was going to get to it eventually because you guys are awesome. But just feeling that moment, like, someone, you know, commented, like, oh, my God, congrats on 150000 Like, I was just, like, I had totally forgotten about that. Like, I was just in the Mac Daddy event, like, you know, communicating with people, networking, and then it hit me, like, wow, like, this is real. Like, I just hit 100000 in the summer, and 50,000 more people are watching me. Like, that is so surreal. It is honestly so amazing. My name should just be like Ramble Rose. Like, let's hashtag Ramble Rose. Like, seriously, I'm rambling. I don't even know what I was saying, but I was saying that I love you. And I honestly, like, love you. Like, you right there watching me. Like, no matter what, like, even if you write hateful comments to me, I love you. Even if you write positive comments, I love you because, I don't know, I just, I'm so overwhelmed with love that those little hateful comments, like, it's just... It's petty, you know, and I will be at IMATS New York on Saturday. I still have to buy my Sunday ticket. I've just been procrastinating, but hopefully I'll be there Saturday and Sunday, but for sure I'll be there Saturday. I think the tickets have sold out, 
but I can't wait to meet you guys. Thank you for everyone who came up to me in um, LA. I really appreciate it. Everyone who came to my meetups. I'm so, so forever eternally grateful for you. I love going to IMAX because like Sigma always gives you this huge bag. Like a gigantic <laughs> bag that is so pretty. It's like bright pink. And even if you don't buy anything from them, they give you this huge bag. So, And actually, let me get started with this. I received the Angel Merino Mac Daddy brushes and I'm so excited definitely gonna have a review because well I don't think they're selling these these were like exclusive for IMATS but I actually received these when I went to his like launch for them and they were retailing for $90 at IMATS my friend Angie actually bought like a set they only had a hundred so it's this 14 piece set and the brushes are gold like what a better brush set for Mac Daddy, for girls that love gold, like this is awesome. They're by Morphe, but you know, he teamed up with them to do this. And so if you divide it, like, I think, what did I say? It was $90, $90, but divided by 14, it's a really good price. I don't know if they're selling them. I'm going to find out. If I do find out when they're going to be released, I'll let you know. But I definitely want to do a review. Like this tapered brush is just awesome. I'm really, really excited to use these just to be able to say like, oh, you know, I went to his launch party like that's awesome and I'm really really proud of him he's such a sweetheart I got to talk to him a couple times took some selfies dance with him he is so down to earth and oh my god thank you so much to Mac Daddy and to Morphe and the whole team and everyone who is a part of this so thank you and it comes in this really cute like brush container belt thing because I like it because it's like really soft and I'm definitely gonna be using these in my tutorials I don't really want to use them because I know they're not really available but I do want to let you guys know how they are, so. When I was at IMATS, I first stopped at Sigma, and I picked up this Sigma, what is this called? Sigma Spa Brush Cleaning Mat, and basically this is, like, I don't think they've even released it yet. They released it at IMATS, and it's not even out. They sell a glove to clean your brushes, but I thought this was so much cooler because it's an actual, like, mat. Like for your sink. So what you're going to do is you put this on your sink. It has like little suctions. And it has different areas for your brushes. So it has an eye brush area, a face brush area. And it has different ridges to really like deep clean your brushes. So I'm definitely going to be using this right after this video. Because my brushes, Lord, need such a deep cleaning. I haven't washed them since LA. So definitely we're using them over there. So I can't wait. Like I waited to use this for this video. Because I'm OCD like that. But yeah, I'm really excited to use it. And it's bright pink. It only comes in one color. And everything Sigma was 30, 30 or 40% off. So I believe I got this for like $26. I have the receipts all somewhere, but it's really cool. I don't know. It has seven textures. And I like that it's like exclusive and like that they don't sell it yet because I want to let you guys know how I like it before. Also at um, Mac Daddy's event, it came with like a little goodie bag. So along with the brushes, they also gifted us the Flutter Lashes. And these are in Mac Daddy. Oh, I didn't even know. So these are Mac Daddy's eyelashes. Wow, I'm such a loser. I didn't even notice that. No wonder these definitely look like Mac Daddy's lashes. He wears those like spiky ones. There's a style by um, House of Lashes. Like, I think so, Sirens. But these are them. And let's see if my camera will focus for you guys. Oh, it's like gold packaging. So it's like really hard to see them. But they're spiky and I can't wait to wear them. I can't believe they're called Mac Daddy. I didn't, I'm like so, <laughs> clearly I just threw everything in a bag and just wanted to like show you guys. So they're Flutter Lashes and I think I, I picked up some Flutter Lashes. I bought some at IMAX but this was in the goodie bag at Mac Daddy's event. And then this was also there. This is a Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color Prom Nights. And I've never owned anything from Jeffree Star, so I'm really excited. I actually saw him and I was like super scared to go up to him because he's so like gorgeous and intimidating. His makeup was flawless. And this is again called Prom Night and it's a liquid lipstick. You know liquid lipsticks are in right now. So I'm really excited to own one of his products. The packaging is just really, really cute. Excuse my nails. I haven't even gotten them done. Um, like I said, I've been sleeping. But this color is really pretty. It reminds me of... Snow Orchid? Snow Orchid. I think it's Snow Orchid by MAC in a liquid form. It's a hot, hot pink and I just love the packaging. So I'll let you guys know how I like these. If I really love them, I'll definitely order some other colors because um, you guys know I don't really do like bright pinks, but I'm definitely going to wear that. This video is going to be really unorganized because like I just threw everything in this bag, but I also picked up some MAC goodies. I picked up this MAC Studio Finish Concealer Duo. 
because Angie, who I was with, I'll link her Instagram down below. She's absolutely gorgeous. She was in my vlog for LA. She actually works for MAC, and I was using some of her products while we were getting ready every day. She actually did my makeup one of the days um, for my meetup in the park where I was wearing that pink dress. She did my makeup and I really liked the studio concealer for her eyebrows, like sculpting them. So this one comes with the colors NW20 and NC25. And it's really cool because it comes with a duo and I've actually never seen this. And I like the package. It's like a magnet and you get to see through it. The only thing is it's kind of like difficult to open, but it's kind of cool because it doesn't... I feel like I'm talking really fast. Kind of cool because it doesn't open easily, but it sucks when you're trying to open it. So... I've been using this. I love it for my eyebrows. It's awesome because it's a drier texture. So when you're sculpting your brows, it really like defines them. So I picked that up. And then I picked up some MAC brushes. These are the 116 and the 150. I believe this is the large... The 150 is like a large powder brush. And then this one I believe is a blush brush, the 116. But I've been using them like for everything. Like this one for highlighting, for blush, for bronzer. Like I love MAC brushes. Um... So I picked those up, and this one, the 150, yeah, I'm not crazy about it. It's kind of scratchy, but I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I do with those. And then I also got some skincare. There's an eye cream in there somewhere. I picked up the MAC Complete Comfort Cream because we went to MAC over there. And, uh, yeah, Angie uses this, and I love her skin. Like, her skin is flawless, so she says she swears by this. She has dry skin, and I've been having a lot of dry skin, especially from traveling. Like, going on the plane and stuff, like, my skin has been really, really dry. Like, right now, I'm using a MAC foundation that I also picked up over there. This is the Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. It's a little bit dark on me, but I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if it's a little dark. I know it oxidizes, but I'm talking really fast. Um... I just want to like get everything out but yeah I picked up the comfort cream and I've been using it I really like it it really moisturizes your skin so if you have really dry skin definitely look into it I also got this MAC volcanic 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 ash exfoliator she also uses this and like I said her skin is flawless so I'm just like I gotta get whatever you're getting whatever you're using it's working so picked it up and oh my gosh this is heaven you guys need this it's a great exfoliator it has a really unique scent, and it leaves your skin so ready for foundation. You're supposed to only use it, like, three times a week, and I've, like, been wanting to use it more because it really just does a great job. Also from MAC, I picked up the Mineralized Charge Water Eye Cream, and this is an intense moisturizing eye cream. Smells like MAC products. I've been using this, too. I got, like, a couple of bumps underneath my eyes, so I'm not sure if it was this. But um, I'll let you guys know how it works for me. Now that my skin is back to normal, like it's in pretty good condition, I feel like I can go ahead and venture out and try MAC foundation, try MAC skincare because, I don't know, like my skin has been pretty good. Oh, also in the MAC Daddy goodie bag, I got the Brian Champagne Hydroplex Primer. And this has hyaluronic acid, which is really cool because it softens your skin. I used it once while I was over there and I really liked it, so I can't wait to use this on my clients and on myself. So, I love Brian Champagne. Um, he's so, like, inspiring and inspirational. <laughs> I'm, like, lost with my words. So, I got that primer, and then they also gave me the Color Switch Duo by Veramona. And I actually used it while I was over there because I didn't bring mine, so it was a lifesaver because I didn't bring brush cleaner, so I was just using this. Basically, it's a sponge. It's a special sponge that you can brush your dirty brush on here and it cleans it for you. It's really, really awesome. So I will probably mention this in another video when I do my brush video because I think everyone needs this. Maybe not needs it. Everyone should have this, especially if you do makeup. Like you do uh, makeup artistry. I'm like cracking already. But um, yeah, I got that. And in the goodie bag, they also gave me this cute little Violet Voss glitter. And this one's in the color holy grail which every time I say that I want to like sing but it's this really cute little baby glitter and I cannot wait to use this because I've seen this these glitters everywhere it's like it's like a mixture of gold pink blue and silver flecks of glitter and um, I love Violet Boss this is my first Violet Boss product but I love like seeing pictures of her glitters and everything like I think they're really pigmented so now I can finally say I own one, so I'm really excited about that. Picked up, I think it was Naomi's or Nigel's, one of those. I picked up the mini beauty blenders, and I know a lot of people don't like these, but me and Angie were like, let's just give it a try. They were on sale for like 16 bucks or $15, and I really just want to use it for contouring and 
highlighting with concealer. I know a lot of girls say it's too small, but I have really small hands, so I don't think it's going to be a problem once I wet it. And someone told me to use Fix Plus, not water, with these. So these are the micro minis. They're just baby beauty blenders and they're so cute. I just love anything little baby. It's so cute. Like, I feel like my Coco is going to use them. Like, my Coco would, like, apply my makeup with them. So, I don't know. They're cute. I'm a, I'm a sucker for cute little things. And while I was there, I also picked up this Ben Nye Cameo Luxury Powder. I have banana. I love banana. I have raved about it so much on my channel, but I kind of stopped using it because as I got lighter, the yellow really showed up on my skin. So I picked up Cameo. Oh, I got this at Nigel's Beauty Emporium for 15 bucks. This is the, what is this? The 1.5 fluid ounce. It's just a lighter color. Glider than banana, so I know a lot of girls swear by it, and I cannot wait to use it. Then I passed by Embroilise, and I got this, what is this? I don't even know. It's like their most famous hydrating primer. I know a lot of girls and a lot of makeup artists use this, so I was really excited to pick it up. I think it was like $24. Um, it's a cream for all skin types, and the guy that was working there demoed it on our hands, and we fell in love. It just gave our hands like a really nice smooth texture, very silky, so can't wait to use this. You can use this at night too, like a moisturizer, so really excited. They also have one for oily skin. They have like a mattifying one. This was one of the things I really wanted to pick up while I was at IMATS, and I'm glad that I picked it up. Then at Naomi's, they had the Flutter Lashes, I think. 40% off and they're naturally naturally I think they're normally like $25 I don't really remember but I picked up the styles I don't know where the styles are I picked up Sierra and Sierra I picked up two Sierras that's weird I'm confused I know I didn't pick up two of the same I guess I did they both say Sierra on them so I remember picking two different styles and I guess not Alright, so I got two Sierras, and I'll just wear them, because it's kind of hard to show lashes. I'll wear them and show you guys on Instagram and, and on a video, but I got a really good deal on them. They were, like, 40% off, so I had to pick up two. Then we passed by Lit Cosmetics. I'm just going to fan myself real quick. And the people at Lit Cosmetics were so sweet. They actually gifted me and Angie a couple things, and we also bought something, but... They were really, really nice, and I've seen the cosmetics in Sephora, and I've always wanted to pick it up, and we passed by, and, you know, they knew that I did a YouTube, and they were like, you know, we should collaborate, so they actually gifted me three of their glitters, and their glitter base, and a brush, so they gave me this glitter, which is called Grape, Goober Grape, so this is Goober Grape, it's a really nice iridescent purple color, then they gifted me ABBA, which is a really nice, like, pinky, like, kind of, like, rose gold, but pink, like, green iridescent shimmer. And then they gave me Peacock, which is this really gorgeous, like, peacock color. It's like a teal, and it has blues and greens. And then they gave me the brush that goes with it. This is their liner brush and their liquid glitter base. I have another brush, and then I picked up the Champagne Wishes which is a really nice gold. It's really hard to show this because the packaging is so reflective, but I'd rather just show you guys in a tutorial. But it's just like these glitters that you use with that glitter base. You can use this so many different ways. So I'm really excited to have Lit Cosmetics and I'm just really excited. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm really happy. And thank you so much to Lit Cosmetics if you're watching this. Um, thank you. While I was at Sigma picking up that mat, I was like, let me pick up some brushes because they were 40% off, girl. And, you know, I was trying to catch a deal. I picked up a couple brushes. Um, some of them I already have. Like, these two I already have. I picked up an E40, which is a tapered blending brush. It's just a bending. Blending. I'm going to have a whole video on my favorite brushes. These two are my, like, must-haves. The E40 and the E36. I'm actually, like, a Sigma affiliate, so I do have, like, a link where, basically, if you use my link, I get commission. You don't have to, but I swear by these two. And Angie actually, like, picked up two of each because she used them while we were over there. And she was, like, in love with them. So the E36 and the E40. The E36 is really unique. Um, For the Love of Makeup Baby put me onto this brush from Instagram because it's just perfect. Then I picked up their small tapered blending, which is the E45. It's just a smaller, more dense version of the E40. Then I got the Firm Blender, which is the E44. While I was getting them, I remembered that Lizzie is obsessed with this brush, the wing liner brush, so I picked that up too. 
So I picked up these brushes and they were 30% off. So I am an affiliate. They do send me brushes, but I also do purchase them with my own money. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to use these because I love Sigma brushes. They're really great quality. Then I went to Sephora after or during my meetup and I picked up three more lip stains. I picked up the color Marvelous Mauve and I guess I'll open them right now. This video is going to be really long. I already know. So this is Marvelous Mauve and it's a really nice kind of like Lolita dupe. So it's really pretty called Marvelous Mauve. This is one of their newer colors. They came out with a whole bunch of new colors and they like discontinued a whole bunch which I don't really like. In a couple of pictures, like when I went to the NYX party, I was wearing number 14, which was actually, uh, what is it called? I forgot the name of it, but it's also one of their newer colors. Then I picked up number 5, which is Infinite Rose, and this one I wasn't too sure about because it's, it's a little different for me. It's very sheer, but maybe like packed on, I might like it, but it has like a shimmer. Um, it kind of has like an apricot undertone, ignore my nail. And it's very shimmery and peachy, and look at that sheen, like you see, this one's kind of matte, this one too, and this one's just very shiny. So I think it would look really pretty, kind of natural. And then this one is super out there, this one's called Polished Purple, and I think this would look really great on darker skin tones, if you're looking for a really nice purple. It does have shimmers, um, but it's pretty matte, I would say, these dry pretty matte, and I love these, these are super long wearing, the Sephora lip stains are... Like, girl, don't sleep on these. This one is that purple color. So these are three of the new Sephora lip stains. And they were $13 each in California. I believe they're $14 each here. But those are the colors that I picked up. I picked up the purple because it's something that I normally wouldn't wear. And the other two colors are kind of like natural, everyday-ish colors. Oh, also from MAC, I picked up this 286, which is like a dual fiber blending brush. And Sigma gifted everyone a smudge travel brush for free. And I really like these little, like, precise brushes. These really get underneath your eye, like, if you want to smoke something out. And I love this little size because I feel like it's perfect for your makeup bag. Because I'm always smoking out my lower lash line on the go. So I love that it's pink and it was free, so that's pretty awesome. I got a free sample of this Chlorine eye makeup remover. I don't know, I've never heard of this brand, but I'm excited to try it. And then I also got this... Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant because one of you guys actually recommended this to me, recommended this to me, and it was a Sephora perk. So I wasted 100 points on it, which I do not feel bad about. And then at Lush, I got this Vanilla Re Solid Perfume, and this is really like different. It smells very natural. I don't know if you guys would actually like this, but I picked it up like I went to Lush and I picked up a body exfoliator. So this was just there, and I was like, eh, why not? Solid perfume, something you can just throw in your purse, but it's it's it smells like lush, it smells like that natural kind of smell. So, so those are the items that I got in LA. Now, when I came home, I had a whole bunch of packages, and this one was from Glambot, and you automatically know that it's Glambot from their packaging. And I was like, that's weird. I didn't order anything from Glambot, not that I remember. So when I opened it, there was a really nice letter here, and it said, um, "Congrats on being like one of the top affiliates." Because I am a Glambot affiliate and I literally like freaked out when I saw this. I saw Estee Lauder Illuminating Powder powder Jelly. And I was like praying that it was heat wave so I can give it to you guys because I already have a heat wave and I know everybody wants it. So it's not heat wave but it's the color Topaz Chameleon. And I like freaked out when I saw this Estee Lauder packaging because it's limited edition, like they don't sell these anymore and that was really, really sweet of them. Glambot, I have a whole video on it. Basically they sell like new or gently used makeup. It's not for everyone but it is for me, like I've ordered stuff on there and I have no regrets. Like I've always loved everything that I've gotten but Estee Lauder powder jelly, like so bomb.com. Like... I don't know what to say. It's gorgeous and it has a chameleon kind of like snake embossed texture. No, you don't understand. Makeup gets me really excited. But look at this color. What? Like that is such a gorgeous highlight. It's like a bronze goddess. It's liquid gold. 
and I'm just really excited. And uh, yeah, again, it's Topaz Chameleon. They don't sell this anymore, but I've heard from a little birdie that they're coming back, that the heat wave is coming back. Estee Lauder's gonna be carried again. I don't know for sure, but that's what I've heard. But now I own Topaz and I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I don't know, things like that really excite me. So again, thank you so much to Glamba. I'll leave a link down below. I do work with them, but they totally just sent this to me on their own, and I thought that was really, really sweet. So again, thank you so, so much. So before I left California, I made an order on Melt Cosmetics, and I bought this myself. I know Melt Cosmetics, I think, works with some beauty bloggers, but I actually went ahead... All right, this box is going to kill me. I went ahead and bought the stack. I think it's called the stack. I bought the Dark Matter Eyeshadow Stack. These are like magnetic eyeshadows, and these are so cool. Angie actually owns the Love Matter, I think it's called, but this is Dark Matter. No, Love Sick. So they have two different sets. This one's like the more neutral one. Of course, I got that. But like, okay, so it comes with these shadows. One, two, three, four shadows. So the first one's a mirror. I'm sorry if I blinded you. And then it just kind of like detaches. And it's really awesome. Like, this is such a good idea. This first color is called Blur. This next one's called Unseen. It's right up my alley, a really nice color. It kind of reminds me of Saddle and Uninterrupted. They're actually really easy to detach and attach. This next one's called Enigma. I'm really excited about this. I definitely want to do like a burnt burgundy smoky eye really soon on my channel. And the last one's called Dark Matter and it's a black. I'm not going to swatch these because they are intensely pigmented. Um, so I'll just probably do a video on them, like whether I think they're worth it or not. I actually haven't tried them, so... I know Angie loves them, so I'm pretty sure I'll love them. And just when I was going to throw out the box, I saw this little baby charm. It's like a little lipstick. It's so cute and mini, and it's like a keychain, and it's really cute because it's a little red lipstick, and it says melt on it. So I thought that was really cool. Before I left, I ordered this as well just because I wanted to get it in time for the trip, but I didn't, so I got it when I come, came back. And this is the NARS Blush in Almeria. No, Almerla. And this was part of their collection their holiday collection so it comes in this really nice like white packaging and you guys know I love really like dusty mauve rosy blushes so once I saw this I knew I had to get it I got it from narscosmetics.com regular price so the packaging is really cool because it has like that holiday embossed shiny finish which is cool because then you know which one is which and this is like a really really nice mauve purpley color I think this is so unique and even though it's like a dusty rosy pink color I think it's different from what I own it does have tiny shimmers but I don't think they show up so I'm really excited to use this I've been wanting it for a while so they also threw in it's kind of funny this uh smudge proof eyeshadow base I actually tried it before and I didn't like it so I feel like I need to try it again and it's actually like a really generous sample it was like just with my order and it's pretty big I think that's really cool that they throw they threw that in there for free so pretty awesome then when I came home, I got this, which came to a surprise for me. I got this Perfect Pout Lip Mask and Lip Balm Duo. And I saw this on Instagram. So thank you to Kaplan for sending me this. And basically, it's like a lip mask and a lip balm. It hydrates, plumps, and protects. My lips have been needing some TLC, girl. <laughs> They've just been really dry. Actually, now they're a little better since I came back from Cali, but before I left it was outrageous so it's really cute because it's like this little duo and it's so cute it comes with a little spatula I don't know I'm like a sucker for little things like that so I'm excited to try this I'll probably post like an Instagram post about it like a before and after to see if it really like hydrates and plumps my lips and then I ordered some house of lashes stuff and things got a little mixed up with shipping and stuff so they were nice enough to send me some goodies um, because they know I'm like house of lashes fiend like I've probably ordered over 20 pairs of the iconics so they actually sent me <laughs> two of their lash glues because they know that I'm obsessed with them so these are latex free waterproof sensitive eyelash glues gave me three iconics which are my favorites I'm always wearing them I'm wearing them right now I'm wearing like a really really old pair that has like old eyeshadow on it but they gave me three iconics, and then they also gave me the Temptress and the Siren. These were the ones that I was talking about that they kind of look like the Mac Daddy. But these are called Siren, and then these are called Temptress. I'm really happy about my lashes. I can't wait to put them away. Right. And then I also got this surprise from Yancy, and her Instagram is Yancy 
underscore makeup eraser. I'll leave a link down below. And she also has a link to her website. She actually sent me the makeup eraser. I actually have one, but I feel like I messed it up because I washed it the wrong way. Actually, another subby actually sent me the makeup eraser. So now I have two of them. I'm thinking of maybe giving one away. I'm not sure yet because I do have one. Um, but I, you know, she gifted it to me, so I don't know. I'll have to ask her. But I'm really excited. That was really sweet of you. Thank you, Yancy. Again, I'll leave it down below. Basically, it's like a cloth that you... I'll, just, I'll have a demo up very soon because there's hundreds of them online. But I wanted to show you guys that it basically removes your makeup um, with water. So the cloth and water, you take off your eye makeup. You do have to kind of gently tug at your eyes. I will say that. But for your face, like you don't have to use wipes. Like You want to use this and then you want to wash your face. So... Thank you, Yancy. That was really sweet of you, and yeah, thank you. This was sent to me by Scentbird, and this is so awesome. Okay, so basically, they contacted me, and they wanted to reach out to me so I can work with them. Basically, it's like a 30-day trial of a perfume. So they know that I'm into perfume. They saw my perfume video, and I had really been wanting to try this one. It's the Isi Miyake Floral Perfume, and so it was one of the perfumes listed on there, and it's like a lipstick where you just kind of twist this and it just pops up again this is called scent bird and it's just a 30-day trial of a perfume so you just twist it's like an automizer but it's cooler because it just twists up and it's black and it's really like sleek it's by scent bird they're a new york based company and you just twist the spray twist the clothes just like lipstick and you can replace i guess the perfume in here it says twist pull the glass veil up drop in the new scent and twist so that's really really awesome I'll leave a link down below um, I guess it's like a monthly subscription it says you can change up your queue by logging into your account before the fifth of the month after that your next month will be locker so choose wisely I guess locked so so really awesome I love this perfume Nicole Guerrero mentioned it in her favorites video once and I just I wanted to try it out before buying it before committing and I'm definitely gonna buy it once I'm done with this 30 day sample Probably will last me like 15 because I'm like a perfume junkie. But I can't wait to just throw this in my purse. I don't know. I'm just really excited to use it. I'm normally like really excited about these kinds of things. So thank you, said Bird. That was really, really nice to send me that. So yeah. Next, this is a really, 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 really special, special package. Um, the Balm actually reached out to me and wanted to work with me. And you guys know I love the Balm. You guys know I love my Mary Luminizer. I've done a tutorial with their nude palette. Just obsessed. I was really upset because I had broken my Cindy Luminizer, which I know Kathleen Lights loves and she uses it as a blush. So they reached out to me and I was like, oh, like, you know, my Cindy Luminizer broke. So they sent me not only Cindy Luminizer, but a whole bunch of goodies. So if you don't know, Cindy Luminizer is one of their like highlights. They have Mary Luminizer, Betty Luminizer, and then Cindy. Cindy is the more pinky one. So packaging is 10 plus, like amazing they sell this online actually tomorrow the bomb is going to be on hot look so i'll leave a link for that down below i do get a credit when you use my link it's a ten dollar credit or twenty dollar credit but i do get a credit um when you guys use it but so this is basically like a highlight but on me i think it will be more of like a blush so here it is it's kind of light like a light swatch but it's like this pinky peachy color and it gives you a nice like luminous finish so they sent me that and then they sent me a whole bunch of goodies i'm really excited i'll probably be giving some of these away they sent me the nude dude volume 2 nude eyeshadow palette so really really happy about that um the bomb you could also find at some Dwayne reads here in new york as far as my knowledge just Dwayne reed and then online so then they sent me the shady lady palette i'm not going to show you guys because i'm going to be doing tutorials featuring them they sent me hot mama which is a blush I actually own this already, so I'm thinking of giving this one away. But it's just like a really pretty blush. Really gorgeous. I'm not going to swatch it because I might be giving it away. And then they sent me this, which I also own, Bahama Mama Bronzer. It's a really nice dark bronzer. It's matte, so it's great for contour. And then they sent me some lip goodies. They sent me three of their lip glosses, Bam, Zap, and Snap. So, probably be featuring these in a video, maybe like um, do a whole like bomb, the bomb video, like a whole tutorial using the bomb products. Hello, I'm like, can't talk right now. And then they sent me the Schwing 
black liquid liner. This I'm really excited for. I was going to buy this actually because I've heard really great things about it. I've heard it's really black and the packaging, like I said, is just really cool, really neat, like old school package. So I'm really, really, really grateful for that. So that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys are my friends. Like, you guys support me more than anyone other than my mom. And it's just, like, an awesome feeling just to be doing what you love to do and to, like, get recognized by companies and to just... What happened to, like, women empowerment, you know? Like, it's, it's just going out the window with people acting so rude. And on my lips, again, is Aria by Stila. It's really hard to get this color. I had to order it from Stila's website because it was sold out everywhere. And then I have Night Moth, which is a MAC lip liner underneath. Gives you a really, really nice, dark, vampy lip. I will leave a link down below for my necklace. And that's pretty much it. Just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Quiero decirles a todos que voy a hacer videos en español. Está viniendo. Estoy como practicando con mi español porque yo no hablo español en cada día. So... Cuando hablo, algunas veces me pongo un poquito nerviosa y cuando escribo en español, olvídate, es a mess. So, quiero decir a todos que hablan español que te amo y gracias por todo tu apoyo y tu support. How do you, tu soporte? I think I'm making up words. Um, gracias por tu apoyo y tu amor y gracias, 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 gracias. No lo puedo decir. Lo puedo decir tantas veces porque de verdad me toca el corazón cuando ustedes me hablan en español porque yo sé que están mirando hacia mis videos y yo estoy hablando en inglés y todavía me, 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 me ven y, y me soportan. I'm like a mess, you see? This is one of the Spanish videos, but gracias. Oh, and as a highlight, I use the Gerard Cosmetics BB Illumination. Thank you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Of course, my phone's ringing. But um, I have like seven bags here. So it says 14. Ooh. I need a break, girl. While I was getting, while I was getting. So much drama. Angeli, Angeli? Who's Angeli? I'm trying to take it out. I'm trying to take this out for you guys. It's kind of hard. Says, who? Me? Like, really? Me? Like, I get so nervous. Cool. Pretty cool dude, so. <sighs> Just, you know, now it's edited.